Hey, Super Cruisers, it's Kevin and Frank from Cruising with Wheels. It's time to spill the tea on some airline tips and tricks. Let's take a look at some of the things that our flight attendant friends are talking about, as well as some of the things that we actually do. Now, the first thing they talk about that we've heard is that you should avoid drinking soda. We don't do that. We drink soda. But they say apparently soda isn't the best drink option. Well, when we fly. Yeah, when you fly. Uh, it says because flying at high altitudes changes the pressure on your body. And soda, because it's heavily carbonated, this combination can make your stomach swell and cause you to feel bloated and gassy. Do you think a little scotch with that soda would <laughs> help? I probably would, and apparently it would make the bloating and gassy not, not worry you at all. Now, coming in at number two is don't order ice in your drink. Now, flight attendants have revealed over the years that yeah. there are reasons why they themselves wouldn't order any drink with yeah. ice on a flight. Apparently, the ice is made from the plane's water tank that is hardly ever cleaned. Now that's disgusting! Yeah, so they claim. <laughs> I bet you the airlines have something different they would say. <laughs> <laughs> Next on the list is, and we all have this, okay? It's the fear and anxiety of plane turbulence. I think it's kind of cool. Oh my God, no thank you. I was on a flight from uh, Chicago O'Hare west to Vegas and the plane just dropped. And I mean, people were falling all over the floor. Uh, flight attendants were screaming, get on the floor, get on the floor. I never buckled my seatbelt so fast in my life. And then people were puking for I don't know how long. But anyways, other than that, you'll be fine. You should really pick um, a seat that's more toward like the center over the wing. Um, if you're prone to like dizziness, nausea, and vomiting, okay, in case there's a little bit of turbulence, um, because most of the time it is felt in the back of the plane. So avoid that and kind of sit like, you know, to the center where the wings are. And you'll be fine if it gets a little rocky. I prefer first class in the front. <laughs> <laughs> now, another thing that you probably should do is avoid body changes during the flight. Do not change your body in the middle of a flight from Rochester to New York. Stay who you are. Now, what we mean by this is on longer flights, your blood circulation can become a bit stagnant. Yeah. So that causes your feet and your hands to swell. Uh, and personally, yes. I'm already swollen. Yeah. I, I have a tendency to have swollen uh, feet and ankles. Um, but you need to make sure that you stretch and get up periodically if you are able to, right. to keep that blood flowing. Right. And even I, you know, sitting, try to move and whatever I'm able to move, just to move. <laughs> now, next thing on the list is how to charge your dead phone. Now, this has all no. happened. It's happened to all of us. <clears throat> but most airports nowadays do have charging centers in their terminals. Right. So you can charge up your electronics before you board your flight. Okay, you hear that? Before. Don't wait till you get on board and go, oh, my phone's dead. Plan ahead. Now, if it's an older airport and you can't find a charging center because they don't have one, they say... We got a secret. I know. They say try looking for a television um, because they say most of the TVs have USB ports that maybe you can put your phone in. Isn't that crazy? But you know what? For us, we carry portable cell phone chargers with us in our carry-on bags. Kevin, you have yours, and I have mine. So together, we have two portable chargers. So our solution is right in the bag. We right. got it in the bag. We ain't searching no mm -hmm. airport looking for no TV with a USB port in it. Now, a big one is that your cell phone apps can save you. Yeah. 
You can download specific apps that watch all the flights, arrivals, and departures. Usually, you can download an app for the yeah. airline you're flying on and set up notifications. Did you know that? I know that for now. For a specific flight, yeah. right? And now you don't have to leave your seat I to know. refresh your phone constantly. Now, you know what else that they so can do? You know what else what? that they can do with notifications? What? They can click the subscribe button to our <laughs> channel and the little bell next to it will get you notifications of when our videos go live. Cheap How's that plug. for a plug? <laughs> next one is uh, learning how to keep your luggage fresh. Because it can get mighty stinky. <laughs> yeah. Buy a pack. It's so simple. You buy a pack of scented dryer sheets. Because mm -hmm. you all know how pretty they smell. And you take them with you while traveling. It's so simple. It's so easy. We do this. Uh, but put dryer sheets in your suitcase. Or between your worn clothes and the scented sheets will absorb the bad smells and make everything smell clean as you can do proper laundry. Uh -huh. It is so simple. Now, I absolutely love this. And I think that we need to get these. Why at is least that? for me, so I don't have to listen to you. I mean, uh, but uh, experts say that noise-canceling headphones will be your biggest friend on a flight. Yeah. If you hate crying babies or loud, obnoxious travelers, uh, it isn't fun when all you want to do is take a nap. Yeah, you uh, do. You can avoid this frustration with no noise-canceling headphones. I don't. But I have to tell you, for me, I could fall asleep on I a know. plane. You don't need them. In a car, on a train, I, I am a good sleeper. Am I, I not a you, good sleeper? You are, but you should still have them so that you avoid the standing up in the plane screaming, Shut that kid up! <laughs> <laughs> now, the next thing on the list is, uh, and this is something we talk about on our YouTube channel, uh -huh. uh, which is educate yourself on packing techniques. There's a few packing techniques to help you pack your luggage. And I think uh, we have a five-part series on how to do that. Link above! <laughs> and you can find them um, uh, by just going to our YouTube channel. Now, things like rolling up all your clothes um, instead of folding them, or uh, using different types of um, packing cubes, or Ziploc bags, or placing smaller items, nesting into larger items, you know, like socks and underwear uh, rolled and stuffed in your shoes, things like that to optimize space in your luggage. So go to our YouTube channel. The next thing we're going to talk about is uh, about changing flights and how you can make that easier. Uh, if you're accustomed to waiting in lines at the airport, you uh. know it's a nightmare. If, if your flight gets canceled, dozens, if not hundreds of people will be trying to change their flights all at once. Yeah. So this could take hours and hours and hours and, and it hours. does and it does instead of waiting at a ticket counter you know what you do I know you set aside you step aside and you call the customer service line for your airline explain the situation and they may be able to rebook you your flight right there on the phone uh, all of uh, our friends and uh, my clients that are flight attendants, yeah. they say that this is one of the biggest things that they yeah. suggest. Um, so if you're if you're on a flight with 300 other people, <laughs> just pick up that phone and try to rebook it just, yourself. You know, excuse yourself. Go to the nearest restroom. Sit in a quiet stall and call <laughs> and call the airline. The next thing that could be helpful is wearing the proper clothes for flying. Yep, you always want to check the weather at your destination mm. and account for time spent traveling. This is important. Yeah. Now, one minute you can be in cold and the next I'm you're sweating. landing in, in, in hot weather. So the best thing that you can do for yourself is dress in layers so that you can remove clothing or add clothing to fit your body temperature. Oh yeah, I'm always switching from hot to cold. Mm -hmm. One minute I'm freezing and the next minute I'm sweating like some farm animal. I think it's manny paws. <laughs> Is that what you think it's manny? I, I have manny paws. <laughs> no, the next thing is um, changing your seat can be a little easier uh, because you know why? Why? Technology is your friend because there are plenty of websites uh -huh. on the internet that will help you create 
a seat alert. I did not know Ooh. this. If anybody cancels their flight or changes their seat, you will be notified and can switch your seat. So yeah, get that, get that app, get that program, whatever it is, if that's your thing. Now, when you are traveling, all the experts say that it's very important to stay hydrated oh, yes. and avoid getting sick. Now, it sounds like common sense, but yeah. if you stay hydrated, it can help you avoid getting sick. And staying hydrated is especially important when you're traveling. Yeah. This is because when you are flying, your body dehydrates mm -hmm. at a faster right. rate. You feel thirstier and your skin dries yeah. out. Water is yes. and can be your best friend. Right. And staying hydrated doesn't mean whiskey or gin or vodka. That's the, Water. the wrong hydration. Um, the next thing I found interesting on the list uh, was keeping your luggage um, waterproof. Yes. And I, I don't know if I would do this. I would feel so... I don't know I would feel so tacky. Well, we have a solution for it. Yeah. Um, it is it is very tacky in my opinion, and that would be garbage bags. Yes, <laughs> yes, you can use them in several ways. You can use them. One way is to use it outside, uh -huh. which is covering your entire uh, piece of luggage with a garbage bag. You know, popping holes or I would handles. Not do that. Things like that. We would not do that. We'd be like you we know. Might do the interior. Yeah, which interior, which is basically to put your clothing or whatever in garbage bags and then setting that all inside the luggage as a barrier, an uh -huh. extra barrier. In case water uh, seeps through. Yeah, and so I, I don't think that we want to be like the Beverly Hillbillies of, of, of you know, plane travel. <laughs> so I don't right, know. Right. But, you know, a lot of people, they're like, yeah, I'll do it. I yeah. don't care. Now, interestingly enough, uh, one of the tricks you can do when flying is choosing the best side. And it's based on science. Mm -hmm. If you're at the airport and there are there are a bunch of options for which security line to join, you should always choose the line further to the left. That's because yes. people will do the opposite. Mm -hmm. Veering always yes. towards the right. Now, all I want you to remember is to the left, to the left, to the <laughs> left. But it's true. Most people are geared to go right, right use yes. right, turn right. And most people are right-handed, yes. so they will go yes. to the right. So if it's possible, and there's multiple, multiple lines... You'll see. You will see if you can... Uh, the left line is always going to be yeah. shorter. It's kind of freaky. <laughs> but it's science. Now, there's a little-known secret about the truth behind blankets. This is what, it just, it just skeeves me out, but they say that you should skip out on that free blanket that those flight attendants offer you at the beginning of the uh, of your of your flight because the tea on that one is that those aren't guaranteed to be the cleanest pieces of cloth yeah. you've ever touched. Disgusting. But I, but I, you know, I don't know. I mean, you really don't know who's touched it. You don't know whether they were used and then re-rolled up and put in the plastic. I we will preface that yeah. we're, not, we're not singling out any particular yeah. uh, airline, but we have heard yeah. that they do refold them and put so, them in the little plastic. Yeah. So uh, uh, again, yeah. I don't want to get anyone else's cooties. Now another trick. And this is something that we do. We do. Is always pack some snacks. Mm -hmm. uh, skipping out on buying uh, and or packing snacks for the flight is a big no-no. It might be another thing on your to-do list. All right. But your stomach and your wallet will thank you if you pack your own snacks. Absolutely. And I did a video on that, right? I know I'm, I'm plugging another video. But it was, uh, what was that, uh, uh about uh, Frank gets, snack bag or something yeah, like that. Frank gets hangry. No, I Was think it it's, you? I don't know. But yeah, we'll link it above. I did a video on packing snacks in my carry-on bag. Uh, now, this might You sound, do this. This next one is for you. Yeah, I mean, it might sound interesting, but I always, you know, it seems odd, but I always do this. Yeah. And uh, basically, it's keep smelling pretty. <laughs> and it's worth it to invest in a portable fragrance bottle. It's called an automizer. Yeah. Uh, not only are these small and easy to travel with, but they're also far from fragile, uh, as they're made 
to be inside a suitcase that might get thrown around right. in the airport. And it's a little larger than a tube of lipstick. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have one, so you do not bring your bottle, your whole bottle of, no, um, of, cologne. of cologne. You use the atomizer to fill it. Uh, and it's just this little thing that goes in your, uh, in your uh, travel bag. I got mine at Walmart, but I have also seen them on Amazon. Uh, so check it out yeah check it out yeah and i should do that for my cologne because i you don't should. i don't i don't bring it i use yours <laughs> i hate you <laughs> do you know that that is from france and they don't make it anymore i know you bought everything you can get your hands I bought on everything that i could get my hands on <laughs> okay last on the list is you should scan and digitalize Everything. Everything. It is important to have scans of all your essential documents. I am 100% a proponent of that. Have a copy on your phone because that can save you a lot of problems. Uh, you don't always want to carry um, your passport around with you or, uh, or any other documents. But again, if you scan them and you have them on your cell phone, mm -hmm. um, you don't have to worry about losing them or getting robbed. And they are safely locked in the safe uh, on board the ship or, or your hotel or, or wherever you are. So And there you have yeah. it. Some tips and tricks to make your airline travel a bit easier. We want to thank you for joining us for another great video. And remember, don't just watch our videos, vlogs, or live streams. We want you to click that subscribe button and become a regular Cruising with Wheels family member. Do it now. And click that little bell next to that subscribe button and you will get regular notifications of when our videos go live do it now we're on facebook twitter instagram and snapchat but until next time always travel safe and cruise often